Bear's Grill, and it sure as hell put Rifle Colorado on the map. The reason? The waitresses carry loaded firearms on their hips while taking your order, and customers are welcome to carry too. Lauren Bobert and her husband opened the restaurant over a year ago when he was laid off from his job in the oil fields, and the customers have been lining up ever since. As Lauren told me, they're proud to be serving up some mighty good cooking, seasoned with a touch of the Second Amendment. Take a look. Shooter's Grill is about God, guns, freedom, and great food. This is my favorite spot. How many restaurants have you been to where you were served by a pretty young waitress packing a 45 caliber handgun? And the only city in America named Rival. I mean, come on. That's built for a movie. <laughs> There's a big legend about how this town got its name. The one I heard the most was some trappers had left a rifle here stuck in a tree. And he had to go back and get his rifle. It was still leaning against a tree. And that just became known as Rival. French toast. Oh my gosh, that's so good. We come here a lot, and we feel right at home. I carry two. It's small town America. It's an outdoorsy town. Everyone hunts, everyone fishes. It's some wild country. I typically hunt off horseback, eat everything I shoot. I've been around guns all my life. I have a five-year-old and seven-year-old daughter, and they'll soon be shooting guns and, and target practicing. It's the way I was raised. It's the way a lot of us live. We have no problem here. That is what this country was founded on. Everybody in this town, about 78% of the people living in Garfield County, are gun-toting Republicans and or Democrats that believe in the Second Amendment. They're all Americans and willing to defend their freedoms and their rights. This is the way America should be everywhere. We're visiting from Texas. I think it's fabulous. We ought to have more of them. It's about patriotism. We were just here in Rifle, Colorado doing us, and America stopped in for a visit. I honestly never thought it was something atypical. It is not about politics. It is a way of life. I feel like we should be able to express that we believe in the Second Amendment. That's exactly what we're about. We're standing on the foundation of what this country was built on. I started open carrying about three weeks after we opened up and my servers began to approach me and ask if they could open carry as well. She was here by herself early in the mornings, late at night, and same with all of us girls. So it's more of a safety reason than anything, really. They had already gone through training. They had already had their concealed permits. Now we actually have training for a more advanced class. All of us are very active in our shooting. I live out in the country, so I shoot just about every day. Do you have any special firearm you like to carry? I carry a Ruger 357 Blackhawk. I like the revolvers, but I'm still looking into getting an automatic. I actually carry my Springfield XDS. I was carrying a 45, but I recently purchased a 9mm. So we're certainly able to protect ourselves if a life was in danger. You're also offering concealed carry classes to your customers. Yes, yes we are. We're offering classes every month. It's $75, the price includes a meal, and they're just filling up quickly. What doesn't Washington, D.C. get about a place like this? I don't think they have a concept at all about what this is about. They have never been around people who knew how to use guns and use them for the right purpose. Law-abiding citizens should be able to defend themselves with guns. It's like the owner says, we have a grill in back, we have a fire extinguisher, we aren't expecting a fire, but we're prepared for a fire. Same thing with the handguns. As long as you know how to use it and when to use it, it's a good thing. I think history will show, and the NRA has certainly showed it, that armed citizens that are properly trained can save lives. I'm expected to have insurance on my assets, on my car. I'm required to wear a seatbelt to protect my body. Why not have a firearm to protect my body as well? Someone's not going to walk in here with guns blazing when you have a bunch of women who know how to use firearms. I think it's a deterrent to crime. If I had to, I would be ready to use my gun. I have practiced it in my mind. We live in an isolated area in West Virginia. It's up on a hill, and I feel safe because I have my gun. It's beside my bed, and my small one's in my purse. You see a place like this, and then you hear about places like Target and Starbucks, and they don't want anybody bringing guns in. They say, leave your guns at home. I don't go to either, honestly. We never shop at Target. We never go to Starbucks because of that. I believe that there should be more restaurants like this. I think there should be more stores. We need to feel safe. 
They don't need to come after us who are just living our lives and doing what we have the right to do. The mayor and the chief of police, they are absolutely fine with us open carrying, they're concealed carrying, they love the restaurant, they come in and eat the food all the time. It's really honoring. The other day we walked in here and there was a guy sitting at the counter, he was from Denver and he drove all the way over here just to pack his pistol and eat, have breakfast at Shooters. But to someone that says I'm not going in there, I think they ought to come in here and experience. I feel so safe here. I love it. Safest place in Colorado to eat, no doubt. And we will be back. But if you're a newcomer taking a shot at the venue for the first time, let me tell you, there's some tough choices. There's the Smith & Wesson grilled cheese, the locked and loaded nachos. Nope, for me, I'm going with the M16 burrito. Oh, oh, the favorite thing on the menu, all oh, the rifle breakfast, really. Right underneath, though, is the M16, and, and that's also very good. I have one, so uh, <laughs> I identify with that. It's hot and ready to go. <laughs> We've had people from all across the country stop in and say that they support what we're doing, they appreciate what we're doing. Wanting to purchase ammo for our waitresses. And I had another man call in from California. He is a Marine and he wanted to purchase a firearm for one of my waitresses that did not yet own one. And she got herself a brand new Kimber 45 and it is beautiful. I think it's time to franchise this and get it out and let's take our country back. I think if there was more restaurants in the United States where people are allowed to carry firearms, there'd be less violence. Yes, I could like see it nationwide. They have a franchise right now. We've had people drive in from Kansas, drive in from Utah. There's so many of our rights that are being stripped away. And so to leave knowing that we still have something that we can make a stand for, it is truly tremendous that they can walk out knowing that they saw that right. And that's truly our mission. We have a piece of paper that says all men are created equal. That they're endowed by their creator with certain individual rights. Among them are life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. And I think part of the pursuit of happiness is being free, obviously young men and women gave their lives in defense of that freedom. I think a place like this speaks of all about freedom in every part of our life. It speaks of freedom.